San Lorenzo SL88 from 2009. I did this video in the last season while the boat was on the hard and together with the owner we decided that the boat was not uh, properly represented so we decided to do this video again. Now the boat is in the uh, last preparations for the coming season 2024 in the med. So I'm going to point out a few of the service things that we are doing. She's let's say 95% ready. Uh, let's start the tour and I will take you through uh, detailed information. Now if you want to learn more about this boat you can visit her webpage by using the link at the video description below. So we are starting this video today from the foredeck, <clears throat> looking astern. There are two big uh, windlasses here from Lufrans and very nice seating area. One of the cushion is missing. Uh, it needs a little small repair, fabric repair. Now, uh, if you look at the roof of uh, of the, of the superstructure, you will see two areas, one which is shiny and nice and one which is uh, less shiny. And this is because uh, that in order to do this video, we stop some polishing jobs, but uh, this will give you a good idea about uh, the condition of the gel coat. So this area is already shiny and it's not the final uh, stage. And this area hasn't been polished yet. So this will give you uh, an understanding uh, what, what level of uh, quality uh, this gel coat can still get to. Now we, we will go uh, astern on the port side. For that let's have a quick look. There is a nice storage area here. As you can see inside you can also see the two uh, big boilers here uh, from uh, stainless steel. And there is another uh, air conditioning unit down here. Let's proceed astern. You can see the windows condition. And as I said before, these kind of areas hasn't been uh, polished yet, but uh, this is planned uh, within the next uh, two or three weeks and the whole boat will be ready and polished uh, to the season. There is a door here to the kitchen area, the galley area. We will see it from inside as we go along. And we are moving further. Boat is uh, clean and nice. You can see the San Lorenzo logo here. There is a boarding ladder here, a side boarding ladder here, and on the other side for a long side mooring. Not very common in the Mediterranean, but good to have. And here we are with this uh, aft deck, nice aft deck, very generous table, which will sit eight people around it. Storage spaces here. Uh, now, this boat has, uh, has been extended two years ago, and actually she is 93 feet now. You can see this uh, water platform with a stair arrangement there. So every stair that you see is actually another level, and the whole uh, water platform is going under the level of the last stairs. Now. Uh, everything you see on board is part of the sail. This uh, big uh, sea door, uh, as well as two sea bobs, one here. It has a cradle uh, which hanging it like this, and another one on the other side with a charging station. You can see from here the length of the passerelle, telescopic passerelle. Uh, she has been serviced during this winter, working very nice. So let, let's turn the camera and see this aft uh, cockpit from this angle. The boat is uh, totally furnished with uh, uh, speakers. She has an amazing music system. 
Uh, as you can see here, some of them are from Fusion and uh, the speakers inside are from Bose. We are going to see them uh, as we go inside. Camera system here. Now, before uh, entering the boat and exploring the interior, we will go to see the flybridge. So there is here on the port side, there is a stairway up and we are climbing up. And this, by the way, this uh, stairway can be closed with the door. So if you have any sprays coming uh, when the sea is high, so it can prevent spray for coming to this area. So let's climb up. <coughs> And we are at the flybridge. Let's have a quick look around. Beautiful uh, sun bathing area. A jet dinghy, which is included in the sale from Williams. If you want to learn more about the technical details, such as the length of the dinghy, the engine, uh, and so on and so forth, let me remind you that you can visit the web page by using the link at the video description below. Two life rafts, Bezenzoni crane, which is serving this dinghy. Uh, up above, we have a hard top uh, with the uh, opening sun owing controlled electrically up there. Let's move to the starboard side. Now there is a fusion uh, music system here which can be controlled from here. And if you wonder what is this piece of wood, this is the cradle for a very large uh, TV that you are going to see in one of the cabins down. It has been re removed from here for the winter, but it can turn and be watched from uh, this area or if you want to watch it from here so you can change the angle of the TV, which is basically placed here. Moving slightly forward, there is a wet bar. Let's check how it looks. Oops. Okay. So we have a frying area here from Millet. Very generous uh, sink. Uh, electrical barbecue. And underneath, down here, we have a, a ice maker and we have a place for a trash bin. Now somebody put a storage of soap inside but basically it's quite understandable it's a trash bin and here you have a beverage fridge as you can see here so you have a very nice um, very nice uh, wet bar with all the required equipment oops it's quite heavy um, okay moving uh, further forward and here we are in the external helm station great seating places in both sides as well as here very good view forward let's quickly see the equipment that we have here uh, we have a raymarine screen here uh, it hasn't been started so you need to press the OK button, uh, all kinds of switches to operate different uh, operations in the boat. This is a multi-display at the moment, it displays the depth, we, are, we have 11 meter under our keel. Um, a searchlight control, uh, this controls the flaps on the stern uh, behind the transom to control the planning of the boat while she's moving. Some analog uh, gouges from the MTU engines. We have two MTU engines here with 2,160 horsepower. Each one of them now has a little bit less than 2,200 uh, 2, hours. A bow thruster, stern thruster, and of course the throttles and down here, fell down, we have a VHF from Raymarine. Okay, we will move inside the 
pilot house and we will find there more equipment but let's first have a quick look to understand the, the view that can be seen from this uh, external helm it's quite a beautiful day today warmish so we are we are stepping down four stairs into the pilot house and before doing all the way inside let's have a quick view around to see how it looks so we have a nice uh, sitting area looking forward a pilot chair and these pilot chairs can move on tracks you can see the tracks here so you can change the location of it very useful very good view all around and these are the stairs that leads us to the corridor on the starboard side we will see it as we go uh, inside now um, let's quickly have uh, again a look uh, at the equipment here we have uh, Mitsubishi fin stabilizers which works perfectly very nice very uh, zero speed stabilizers controller of the air condition uh, bow and stern thruster trawlers two big screens from Raymarine that uh, can display anything you wish that they will display radar, radar uh, chart plotter and so on and so forth we have here a ship control the, the sun is a little bit blocking uh, to see it well but uh, ship control means that you can see the tank levels uh, voltage of batteries uh, output of generators and so on now uh, here we have again two gouges from the MTU engines but this time it's the digital one so they are much more sophisticated you can see uh, any, any piece of details that you wish to see and to learn about the engines this is another screen for the cameras it is shut down now and uh, additional uh, switches so let's turn the camera a little bit of a navigation table here proper size pilot uh, chair sitting uh, area and here stairs down to the corridor so we will make our way all the way back and we will go to explore the interior part of the boat uh, starting from the aft uh, deck and after we will explore the interior our last station will be the engine room uh, so bear with me to see the technical details uh, if you want to learn about the engine hours, the uh, power of the engines, the generator, and so on, you can visit the web page by uh, visiting uh, by using the link at the video description below. Another uh, angle to see the uh, aft deck. So from here we are turning and starting to explore the interior. And here you can see this beautiful uh, salon area combined with one space with the dining area. A lot of lights. The, the curtains are controlled uh, electrically here. You have a few modules which you can use. Now uh, there is a big TV here. Uh, that has been uh, changed the old TV and the old arrangement the old arrangement was a up and down TV which popped up from here but the owner put a much much larger uh, TV and added uh, speakers uh, and this TV can be connected to a very large Bose system you can start to see the speakers one here and one here and is a huge uh, subwoofer here and additional speakers all around as well as there and there and this Bose system is connected to the TV so you can watch uh, you can watch a movie film and having a surround experience so we are moving uh, further astern I will try to give you a few samples of the space there is a huge sp uh, space when I mean space I mean storage space uh, this is the this is the 
Bose uh, co uh, system here, the heart of it. And then this is the dining area. Again, it can sit comfortably, uh, eight people around it. The boat has uh, four cabins for eight guests. We are going to see it very soon. Now, everything which you see on the video is sold with the boat. The owner doesn't have any intention, oops, to remove anything. And that includes this uh, beautiful wine sets, as you can see here, and cutlery sets. all kinds of uh, tableware let's see okay one of the switches is off the, these are the switches to move the curtains it worked before but we changed the generator so maybe we need to uh, open one of the switches now uh, talking about storage space very deep storage spaces all the way everywhere here as well as here from Villery book some coffee uh, coffee cups let's turn the camera before we leave this area so that will give you another idea how it looks from this angle okay we will proceed forward here on the starboard side now there is a separation door here sliding door and when you cross it uh, the stairs leading us to the pilot house which we already visited and we are moving forward another door that can lead you outside to the decks stairs to the uh, guest cabins which we will visit in a few minutes but we are moving further along this corridor and our first station here is a day head it's actually is a very good a location for the day head um, it gives some privacy and it's still very accessible from the dining area and from the salon moving forward we came to the galley and there are quite a lot of things to explain here let's first a quick round look all around there is a pantry here for the crew to that they can have a bite plus two uh, bar chairs so you know four six people can sit around and have a sandwich or uh, even a full meal some working surface uh, also accommodate some uh, kitchen machinery and here is the place for the oven for the stove additional working surfaces let's jump a little bit into the details so we have here full-size dishwasher deep sink working surfaces a big uh, induction stove from Siemens large uh, oven from Millet behind me there is a big fridge full-size domestic fridge and freezer plus uh, uh, water hot and cold and ice maker down here coffee machine uh, um, microwave and let's move to the other side now there is another fridge here quite a large fridge down here and this is not the last one I'll show you more Let's move a little bit uh, astern, but from the other corridor before we proceed to see the uh, crew accommodation. So there is a small corridor here. It's a service corridor 
which the crew can pass here without passing through the guest cabin's corridor, so to say. Uh, a lot of uh, storage spaces here. Let's see some of them. Yeah, this one is pretty deep. You can put a lot of food here, cleaning materials, and uh, other things. And here, there is a very large wine fridge. And as I said, this is another access to the dining, so service can be done from this corridor and to the salon. Okay, and of course there is a separation door, sliding door coming here and uh, separating this area. Now there is another door outside to the deck, so service to the aft deck can be done also from here outside without passing through the salon and uh, disturbing the guests. We are moving uh, f uh, forward, crossing again the galley, and we are going to see the crew accommodation, but before that, uh, we have this service corner, which is very useful because there is a washing machine here, and dryer, both for Millet, and also there is additional uh, refrigeration area. So you have plenty of refrigeration area in this boat. It's very useful. Um, and from here, a very sharp turn left and down. And let's quickly see the crew accommodation. It's quite sharp uh, stairs, small electrical panel here. And there is identical uh, crew cabin here, each with two banks, uh, proper beds, uh, one uh, one uh, window uh, um, which can provide fresh air and natural light which is very important and identical uh, cabin here now each one of these uh, crew cabins has its own uh, toilet shower and sink so quite nice uh, crew accommodations they are not very big but functioning same uh, toilet and shower here so our last station for today will be the engine room we will make our way all the way back it's a good opportunity for you to see things from a different angle and before we see the engine room we will go to explore the guest cabins of course so we are going down and there are four guest cabins here first one is the vip cabin and we turn the camera left at the far end there is the master cabin and in starboard and port side just around the corners there are two uh, guest cabins which we will visit in a second. So let's start with the VIP cabin. It's a full beam cabin, very nicely arranged. The boat is quite wide also in this area, so it gives quite a good uh, sense and feeling and experience of uh, space, uh, large uh, port lights, that provide fresh air and light as you can see now in both sides and here on the port side there is the ensuite sink and toilet which is a vacuum toilet controlled here and good size shower the boat is very clean, don't feel any bad smells, she has a crew all year round, very well maintained. So this is the VIP cabin. Now behind this mirror there is a hidden uh, TV from here to here and up. 
and on the other side very generous area for uh, as a hanging locker and storage also this this ladder is emergency ladder uh, required for safety so you can escape from emergency hatch okay we are stepping back into the corridor and we are moving uh, forward let's start with this guest cabin here on the starboard side uh, sorry we are on the port side and we are moving astern and this is a twin cabin twin bed cabin very good uh, light system good size uh, beds port light large one and ensuite shower and let's go and see the identical guest cabin on the other side of the corridor which is the starboard side and here we have a double bed cabin same port light which is now covered with shade identical ensuite coming back into the cabin and the last cabin that we will explore today will be the master cabin stepping back to the corridor turning left and here we are with the master cabin so it's a full beam master cabin very good size the master cabin has uh, two port lights which provide fairly nice amount of uh, natural light and fresh air when these port lights can be opened when it's safe it has two seating arrangements in both sides one here and one on the other side same arrangement with the TV just behind the mirror there a very generous mm, storage spaces all around hidden behind these big mirrors same there and it also has a walk-in wardrobe which is located here so you have plenty of space for personal belongings hanging arrangement shelves down here let's step outside back to the cabin and let's explore the ensuite of this cabin Here we are. This is the ensuite of the master cabin. Here we have a, a two sinks side by side, and we have a shower combined with bath. And this bath is a, actually a jacuzzi as well. And behind me, there is the toilet and a proper shower in here which is very generous in size so this is the ensuite of the master cabin this ensuite has its own port light so then again it provides a lot of uh, natural light and you can ventilate it when it's possible and safe to open the port light let's have a quick look at the horizon 
Yeah. So back to the master cabin and now as promised we will go to see the engine room. So we are making our way back going outside of the master cabin through the corridor <clears throat> stepping back to the main deck and this time we will go here from the starboard side door have a snap look outside to the starboard and we'll make our way again through the dining area the master cabin sorry the salon half deck again and we will step down to see the engine room a few stairs down here you can see closely the water platform again beautiful arrangement with these stairs can give a lot of options and as I said this uh, water platform goes below the last stair down there another uh, seabob station here and from here we will proceed down into the engine room this is one entrance to the engine room and there is another emergency uh, entrance from the deck now these kind of things uh, we have few points like this in the boat it's a gel coat fixing in process within a week or so this will uh, cured uh, sanded polished and it will become back as new electrical panels in front of the camera various electrical panels and we have here the tanks for the extinguishing material for the engine room automatic extinguishing system pumps gray water and black water pumps down here there is a drum which is collecting the shore power cable The opposite side, the, uh, the port side, down here, air conditioning system, water maker from Hydromar. Uh, if you want to check the capacities, production, uh, you can visit our webpage by using the link at the video description below. Emergency steering, and from here we will step inside into the engine room behind this door so we are stepping inside the engine room at the moment one generator is working we have two MTU engines here with the relatively very low hours at the moment less than 2200 each one of them there are two generators here this one is uh, at the moment it's working from Kohler Generators has about 4,700 hours each. Engine room is very clean, no liquids in the bilge. Fresh water system is here. Fuel filters, alpha level fuel separation. At the moment, uh, one distribution fuel pump is under service the one which is connected here it will be completed very soon additional pumps there for the bilge some hydraulic systems down there a 
and from here we can see the engines from a different angle now there is also a sewage water system here uh, it has been tested it's working which is located here down here on the floor and these are the stairs to the emergency exit from the engine room or if you are in high seas and it's not safe to open the transom to get inside here so you can use these stairs so we are stepping outside of the engine room and our video came to an end nice day here down in south turkey uh, let me remind you last time that if you want to learn more about this boat you can visit her webpage by using the link at the video description below.